Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Katie from Zoo America. Hello. Hi. What do you have here behind us? We have a colony of prairie dogs. Where can you find these prairie dogs? You'll find them out west on the prairie. That's how they got their name. So they are not dogs, they're in the rodent family, but they have the name prairie dogs because people thought they sounded like dogs because they have loud yipping noises and little barks. So that's why they were called prairie dogs. What do they use the sounds for? They have all different sounds. Mainly the yips are for them to alert other animals that there could be something dangerous coming, like a coyote or a hawk flying overhead. So they also have little noises that are just communication between each other. And then they, that's probably about it. <laughs> just those two main noises as far as I know. How many prairie dogs do you think you have here? Or are you not sure? We believe there's um, 16 to 18 adults and four babies right now that are called pups. And as people on the camera, you can probably see that you have a, quite a big enclosure here. So how far down does it go? It goes about 25 feet deep and then it is covered with limestone on the bottom and then there's concrete. So this whole exhibit is a concrete bowl because we don't want our prairie dogs to end up in another exhibit. So. Um, they can dig very well. We know that they've reached the bottom because the limestone has come to the surface. So we know they have lots of intricate holes and they have purposes for these holes. Some holes are towards the top, they're lookout or listening holes. And then there's nurseries and there are also um, holes where they were sleeping. So like different um, tunnels and rooms for like all bunch of different purposes. Yes. We have a space like this and that goes down 25 feet. Mm -hmm. You probably have a lot of different rooms and a lot of different spaces. Exactly. They probably have a whole town underneath there, which is why they often call them prairie dog towns. So what do these prairie dogs eat in the wild? In the wild, they're going to be eating lots of grasses, seeds, roots, whatever they can find. Um, here at the zoo, we also have grass planted that they can eat. There are, um, we get, give them rat chow, which is just a really hard cube that's good for rodents. And they also get sunflower seeds and then some kind of produce, like carrots, apples, pears, something like that. What are your favorite things about these prairie dogs? Uh, my favorite things is how social they are. They, they live in these colonies. In the, in the wild, they have hundreds of acres that are prairie dog towns. And they're very family oriented, so um, a lot of the other prairie dogs are helping out with the babies and the babies are always so playful. So it's a very active colony. It's very much like their wild home, which is one of my favorite things about them. What does the coloration help them with? It mainly helps for them to blend into camouflage because out in the prairie, it's very barren. Um, there's some grass, but it's a lot of dirt. So they blend in pretty well. And then if they need to hide further, they just go underground. What kind of predators would go after them in the tunnels? They, in their, in their tunnels specifically, um, black-footed ferrets, which is a critically endangered species, they prey, about 80% of the black-footed ferrets diet is just prairie dogs. So they steal their homes, they live in their home, and then they'll also eat them as well. And the prairie dog is actually bigger than a ferret, so the ferret is very tenacious. Mm -hmm. As we just heard the video, um, tripping sounds. Yep, that's normally uh, more of a alert noise that they make right there. Well, thank you, Katie, for telling us all about these prairie dogs. Sure. If you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and come back next week for some more animal education.